Hey everybody, this is Jay Moore uh, of TheOrdinaryChristian.com. I'm the founder, and today I want to bring you a little devotional, something to encourage you and maybe uh, empower you and equip you to live a more powerful, missional life that shines the light of Christ brightly in your part of the dark, this dark world. I mean, missional living is all about pursuing the mission that Christ sent us on, which is to go make disciples of all people, all ethnic groups, all nations, all languages. And today I found this particular passage of Scripture that I found to be helpful because when it comes to living a missional life, when it comes to shining the light of Christ, uh, we have to have faith. We have to trust that God is going to show up, show off, and do something pretty amazing. Otherwise, we'll quit. We'll, we'll stop short. We won't continue with it. And here in John chapter 11, the, Jesus is, uh, it's the story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Let me give you a little background. Jesus gets a, a letter, a note from, his, uh, from two friends of his, Mary and Martha. The note says something like this. Jesus, our, our brother, your very good friend, is sick almost to the point of death. If you get here, we know you can heal him. So he gets the message. And he reads it, and he intentionally decides to wait four more days before he goes to, to see his friend. He intentionally waits for his friend to die. Now, as he, you know, the four days, he says, let's go to our, our brother Lazarus. He's asleep. Uh, I must wake him. They think he's talking about physical sleep. And then he says, no, he's dead. And, and for your sake, I'm glad I wasn't there. Uh, and so he goes, and Martha's the first one to greet him, and, she, and her words were, if you had just been here earlier, uh, you know, we know our brother would be alive. And he says, you know, your brother will live. She says, I, I know he will on the last day at the resurrection of the dead. And he says to her, you know, I am the resurrection and the life. Do you believe this? She says, yes, I believe you're the Christ, the Messiah. Mary comes out and, and basically says the same thing, and they end up going out to where the tomb is at, and, and we pick up at verse 38, and I want to read this to you, because there's one little nugget in here on verse 38 and 40, actually it's more like 40, where there's something powerful here, and it, it speaks to me in living a mission life, in joining Christ to help us be more powerful, to be more brighter in shining the light of Christ. He says in verse 38, Then Jesus, angry in himself again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Remove the stone, Jesus said. Martha, the dead man's sister, told him, Lord, he's already, he already stinks. It's been four days. And Jesus said to her, Martha, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? Didn't I tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? Jesus was on a mission. He was wanting to show all of his disciples, who already knew he could heal the sick, make the blind to see, the lame to walk, the, you know, and, and all those things. But he wanted to show them something new about himself that they didn't know. I mean, the whole reason why they called him to come is because they knew he could heal Lazarus. And he's trying to prepare Martha in advance. You know, your brother's going to live. Well, I'm the resurrection and the life. And she says, I know these things on the last day. And Jesus wanted to show it. He's on this mission. And as he is on this mission, he says to her, roll away the tomb. Sometimes when we're on mission, Jesus tells us to do something that sounds absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Roll away the tomb. Lord, he's been dead for four days. His body's already decomposing. He stinks. And he looks at her and says, Martha, didn't I tell you that if you just, what? Believe, you will see the glory of God. For me, this would really hit home a couple weeks ago as I'm teaching a Bible study lesson uh, at a church who was already voted to close down. You know, they had been dying. They were only running about 15 to 20 people. I didn't think they were dead. And I didn't have a message from God to tell them to close it up. Mine, mine was to believe the message that God gave me. And I, and I came to this part, you know, as I, and I, of the story in the Sunday school lesson. And, and everything's looking bleak. And I'm saying, God, 
I don't know why you asked me to bring this a, a particular message to these people of hope and to keep pressing on and to trust you that you're going to you can do something great in mining. These people are determined to close down. And when I got into the Sunday school lesson this part where it says, "Martha, didn't I tell you that if you just believe, you'll see the glory of God?" And it was like the Holy Spirit was whispering in my mouth, "Jay, this is the word for you. Just believe me." And I will show you something amazing. And I got to tell you, within less than a four-hour period, the whole attitude of this church changed to where now they were hopeless, now they have hope. Where they felt helpless, now they felt like Christ was there to help them. Where they were discouraged, now they were encouraged. And they voted to suspend all activities, to close down their doors, and to beg God, wrestle with God, and, and, and keep wrestling with God until God blesses them. And to go out and join him on his mission. You're going to be out there and there's going to be times you're going to sense God's telling you to do something. And, and it seems absolutely ridiculous. It, it, there's just no way possible that this sh should happen what he wants you to do. And then he sh But listen to the small still voice of God as he says to you, if you just believe. And then of course, do what I ask you to do. You will see the glory of God. You will be absolutely blown away with what God can do. All right, this is our devotional. I'm glad that you're here. Hey, if you're not a, already a subscriber to this uh, weekly devotional or my weekly um, you know, mail out from the Ordinary Christians newsletter from the Ordinary Christian, I want to encourage you to sign up. There's a, a link right below. Hit that link, sign up. It's free and start receiving weekly, two or three times a week, you know, different things to encourage you. But pretty good stuff. Take care. God bless you. We'll see you next time on TheOrdinaryChristian.com.